Hi, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. This video is about how long does it take to get better? This is a question I get all the time, and I'm giving you broad general rules of thumb that I've accumulated over the last 20 years of doing hardcore holistic nutrition. I didn't read this from books. Um, it's from direct patient care and going to seminars and, and actually finding the right therapies and protocols to actually get the work done. So. Um, the, the question is not, can I get better? It's how long does it take to get better? So it also depends on how sick you are or how healthy you are. So healthier people get better faster, obviously. But this is broken down into the three main causes of chronic disease. Bugs, toxins, and then excess sugar metabolism, which is a standard American diet. High bread, high sugar, uh, high pasta, the excess carbs. And so let's just start off with the three main, with the, with the bugs. So to get rid of parasites, it's typically about three months, but I've seen, I've had two patients that took them a year and a half where they're pooping out tapeworms almost on a daily basis for about a year and a half. To get rid of candida, mold, yeast, fungus, whatever you want to call it, all those organisms, they proliferate in the same way, they kind of act the same way. It's three months minimum to a year, maybe longer, but, um, but these are all related to each other too. So if you're eating excess sugar, carbohydrates, then it'll just take longer and longer to get rid of the mold. <clears throat> and if you have a bunch of toxins in your body, then it'll take longer to get rid of the mold too, or candida. So to get rid of a virus, three months to continuous. I've had people where they always had the cold sore popping up if they cheated on their diet, or um, if they didn't get enough calcium in their supplements, you know, the cold sore would pop up. But there's different, there's, you know, how many thousands of, or more different viruses some stay in the body for three days and they cause the flu or a cold. Others stay in the body for 30 years and they're causing death like HIV. Or um, there's Epstein-Barr virus which can stay in the body for a long time and cause chronic fatigue but it doesn't kill you. And then of course there's Ebola which has a very short lifespan on that. So just, just this wide variety of viruses. Okay, so toxins. It takes, to, to get rid of he uh, heavy metals, it takes one to five years. Um, and maybe even longer. If you've got lead in the bones, it could be 10 years. And then mycotoxins, that comes from the mold. The mycotoxins sit on the spores and they float through the air. You breathe in the spores and the mycotoxins kill the tissue and then the spores grow on dead tissue. So I am planning on taking two years at least to get rid of the mycotoxins that I have in my body as measured by blood tests. Okay, and then chemicals, it could be months to years to get rid of how many thousands, tens of thousands of chemicals that are on the market. We're breathing them in, we're drinking and eating these chemicals. We sit in a car, we're breathing in chemicals. There's chemicals in the dust in every single building on the planet. So, um, how long does it take to get rid of that? That's kind of hard to tell. So, so excess sugar metabolism. Uh, here's the general rule of thumb. If you're dropping weight at one to three pounds per week, that's awesome. And then what will, what will happen is you plateau and you stop losing the weight and then you start it up again and then you stop and start and stop. So your body goes in kind of waves. Initially, weight loss is easier when you're on the right diet or if you're fasting. Uh, but that's not always a true statement either. I've had people get into fasting and, and uh, their weight doesn't move until they clean out the parasites or they clean out some toxins. All three of these are related to each other. Now you can have all three, and I see patients like this all the time. We're working on all three all at once. I do a little bit of colon cleansing for parasites, for example. We do some candida killing. I start a little bit of a detox, and we work on the diet. And a lot of the work work is on the diet using uh, an app and you know keeping track of numbers and stuff like that. So I wrote here, now can you heal? So just because you got rid of the three major causes of chronic disease, does that mean that you can heal? Or do you have to add in some organotherapy? Like what that means is you're eating an organ to feed your organs. Um, do you need some extra plants, meaning herbs? I, I wanna clarify that there's primary metabolites in plants and there's secondary metabolites. Primary metabolites are the fiber and uh, the chlorophyll and the oils. These are things that these are three things that constitute what the plant is. So stems and leaves and roots, that's what that is. The secondary metabolites are all the 
millions of different phytochemicals that protect the plant uh, from uh, animals that are, that are going to eat it, different chemicals that attract bees or butterflies, uh, different chemicals that allow it to grow in sandy soil rather than uh, muddy soil. So there's, and we've grown up, our DNA has evolved with plants and because of eating plants and animals. But uh, for most people, plants are important because of all those primary and secondary metabolites. But uh, just to clarify that plants do have defense chemicals and that you may have a tr trouble with green peppers because of that or whatever, or maybe all plants. There's, pl there's some people that are avoiding all plants. But I'm just, everybody's different. So you gotta experiment with your diet and find out where, what works best for you. Okay, so the bottom line is how long does it take to get better? Months and years to get better. And for the people that I see, it takes years because their health is much lower than uh, the average American, that's for sure. Okay, so if you like this information, please give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next video.